to your Empowerment Zone, a 13-week series on how you can enjoy a balanced life. Meet spiritual and self-help author Dr. Charlene Proctor, founder of The Goddess Network, an online educational resource for topics on spiritual growth, positive thinking, consciousness, and unity. In today's conclusion of the series, Charlene reveals why learning is part of continuous personal growth. Your joyful awakening begins now. Thanks, Christy. We teach our children the importance of a good education, going to school, and doing their homework. But learning is more than getting prepared for a better job or tomorrow. It's a positive attitude about how we should view life. When my son graduated from USC School of Music, Vince Mendoza, a famous composer and arranger, gave the commencement address. Having given many commencement addresses before, I love to hear everyone else's advice to young graduates. He advised young musicians entering the music industry to always practice and play positive. Also, if you are playing with gusto and love, you will always make the loudest mistakes because the best musicians are unafraid to put themselves out there 100%. Finally, he said, have faith in the process. Remember that the music is always in you, always. To me, this means that you must always have an attitude of continuous learning in life. If we don't have this attitude of humility, we can never be empowered to serve another human being, nor be able to grow personally or spiritually. If we want a balanced life and feel empowered, we must encourage others to learn. Take a class, test your limits, and help somebody else learn something new. By doing so, you are helping to serve and uplift humanity. Learning and improving our minds and hearts are about how we can better release our gifts to the world and serve humanity. So here are three steps to help you grow. First, show children that learning is about elevating the human condition. Teach your kids that learning and education are not just about making more money. Next, fill each day with enthusiasm, positivity, and hope for a better world. You will experience life differently when your attitude is positive and hopeful. Lastly, be humble to the process. Whether you want to learn how to dance, cook a gourmet meal, or complete a PhD, let yourself feel empowered by the learning process. Don't be too critical of yourself and feel you aren't learning something fast enough or you're not as good as somebody else in the class. We can trust life to show us what we need to learn, but we must put effort into the process. It is the most important lesson we can pass on to our children. Now let's affirm. When I look in the mirror, I see a person whose potential knows no boundaries. I am an example of a miracle. I am a work in progress. I engage in life robustly and wholeheartedly, without fear, knowing I contribute to the greater good of humanity. My contribution is important because no one has my unique essence. I love life and love to learn. Charlene, thank you so much. It has really been a pleasure and an honor having you on the show. And of course, to download the empowerment affirmation of the day and for advice on how to recognize the wonderful aspects of you and loving to learn, please visit CharleneProctor.com.